Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I am just about to head out to Paris for the Huawei P30 launch, which you'll see a bunch of coverage from me on the YouTube channel. Be sure to follow the Instagram as well. I'll be posting pictures from that event and Paris, of course. Now, with that being said, I will be bringing with me this laptop right here, the MateBook X Pro, the 2019 model from Huawei. Now, I do have a review on the previous MateBook X Pro. I will link to that down below, but let's go and unbox the brand new MateBook X Pro from Huawei. Now with the MateBook X Pro, you have a couple model options, an i5-8265U processor with integrated graphics, or the model that I have right here, which is actually the i7 model, which comes with a dedicated GPU, the MX250, and 16 gigs of RAM, along with a one terabyte SSD. Now the uh, lower end model actually is 512 SSD and eight gigs of RAM. So depending on your usage, you have a couple different model options. Now, of course, like I said, this is the higher end model with a dedicated GPU, which will help with gaming, video editing, any other high end processing I need to do. Also, of course, having a one terabyte SSD is a really nice touch. So opening it up, first of all, it says Huawei, which is actually a little bit different before they've been using their logo right here instead of just Huawei. Personally, I prefer the text. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop, take it out of the packaging for now. I'm actually gonna set that to the side and we're gonna take a quick look at what else comes in the box if you were to purchase this laptop. So first of all, looks like you have your USB-C to USB-C charging cable in this packaging. Looks like it didn't include any of the booklets. This is a review unit from Huawei, so they might just not have had any on hand. Now also, you are going to get your power brick, which is of course USB-C, uh, fairly small in comparison to other laptops out there. Here are the stats of the charger if you're interested. Let's go ahead and grab the laptop and check it out. Now, initially a couple things I wanna talk about with design. Now on the left side here, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, two USB-C slots, one being Thunderbolt 3, for fast data transfer, maybe you have a monitor that supports Thunderbolt, all that good stuff. And then on the right side is a USB type A slot, which I'm actually happy they included. I wish everything was type C, but all the mice that I own that I bring with me have the dongle that is USB type A. So this kind of eliminates the need to bring an extra adapter. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop for the first time with the one handed test and it has passed. You'll see it lifted up just a little bit from the bottom, but it actually was fairly easy to open up with one hand. Now, giving you some information here about charging it, lets you know the webcam is actually in the keyboard here. We'll take a close look at that. And that there's a fingerprint embedded in the power button. So overall, pretty similar design-wise to the previous model, even the MateBook 13 looking very similar, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This is a very good looking laptop. Noticing a new sticker right here for Huawei Share. We'll talk about that in just a second. They've actually added some cool software features. With all that being said, let's go ahead and power it on for the first time. Of course, going to take me into Windows where we will set up that fingerprint scanner and more. Give me just a second for this to power on. As I skip through the Windows startup process, I wanna show you the differences between the previous model laptops and the new one. You'll see Huawei with the logo before. Now it is simply just Huawei in a little bit bigger text than the other model. And I'm actually a bigger fan of this one. Hopefully they continue this trend. All right, so quickly skipping through the setup, here is the fingerprint setup, which works with Windows Hello. So now this is embedded into the power button. Actually, now I'm gonna keep lifting and setting down my finger. And what happens when you press it, it will automatically read your fingerprint. So when you press it to maybe wake it from sleep or actually power it on, it will already unlock your device. Now I will show that off in just a second, but that was a quick and easy setup. As Windows is finishing up its setup, you do have a full size keyboard right here. Make note that the arrow keys up and down are just half keys. And then of course, if we take a look at the top of the keyboard, you have the webcam button. And yes, it's a physical button. No software can actually activate it, which does give you a little bit of a different angle with the webcam. However, it will make your bezel is more minimal. And speaking of minimal bezels, look at how small they are. It almost is a full screen display with this laptop because of course they don't have a webcam up top. The MateBook X Pro has a 13.9 inch, 3000 by 2000 LTPS touchscreen. Now that means it is a three to two aspect ratio, which is a little bit better for maybe reading text. And if any video is in 16.9, you will get some black bars on the top and bottom, but overall, this display looks gorgeous so far. And like I said, it is a touchscreen, which is of course, always a plus. 
Also worth mentioning down at the bottom, there are a couple grips, four of them to be exact. And the bottom ones actually are a little bit higher than the ones down at the bottom to give it a little bit of a lift when you set it down on a desk. You also have what looks to be some ventilation down towards the bottom on both sides of the laptop. To make your multimedia experience even better, you do have quad speakers that are on top next to the keyboard, which makes the sound come directly at you. And my initial impressions after listening to a couple songs is that this is a, these are very good speakers actually. They get very loud, they fill my entire office with sound, and they're very full. Now overall, the bass wasn't as full as maybe a much larger laptop, but of course with how small and thin this laptop is, it does a very good job with sound quality. And just like previous laptops we've always made, this is a top quality one, just aesthetically, the feel of it, they make premium laptops. Next, I'd like to go ahead and show off this camera that's down at the bottom, the webcam. So if I go ahead and open up the camera app uh, for the first time, actually, it'll probably ask for location consent or something like that. Uh, no thanks. Anyways, it is completely dark. Of course, there you can see me in the reflection, but it's completely dark because there's no light going into that lens. You can maybe see a little line, but now if I open it on up, there it is. Now, if I stand maybe where I would normally sit, you'll see it's kind of from a bottom up angle of me. Now that can be a bit unfortunate for some people. Uh, now, personally, I don't use my laptop's webcam that much. Usually if I have a web conference call, I go to my desktop where I have a much nicer webcam. But uh, for those of you that use a webcam a lot, you might wanna take this into consideration. Now for me, it's not that big of a deal. You will also notice if we take a close look at that icon, there's a little LED light that shows that it is in use as well. So if I go ahead and close out of this, it should turn off, which it just did. And then of course, this is all manual, so you don't have to worry about it popping up automatically. And you can just close it if you do not want any webcam to be looking anywhere in your room. Like I mentioned, one terabyte SSD. I'm going to put this laptop to sleep. And while it's in sleep mode, I'm gonna actually show off that Windows Hello feature with the fingerprint embedded in the power button. So I will press the power button with the fingerprint scanner at the same time, just press it as I normally would any other power button. And we will see how quickly it actually comes out of sleep and unlocks my laptop. And you will see there how fast that actually was. Didn't really even show the lock screen, it was so quick. Now, if we go ahead and try it one more time, I'm gonna put it back to sleep. And for the sake of this part, I went to the lock screen. Now, if I just go ahead and set my finger on it, it went ahead and loaded it up right away. So such a quick and speedy fingerprint and nice that you don't have to set it down twice if you actually press the power button. Now, of course, this laptop does have Windows 10. However, Huawei also includes something called PC Manager, which is, of course, to keep your drivers updated, all that stuff, but it has a My Phone section. Now, if you have a Huawei phone, it will integrate very well with this laptop. Uh, you can transfer pictures, videos, music. Uh, you can do an instant hotspot, just share files in general. Uh, it's very intuitive, very easy, very seamless as well. However, like I said, the caveat, you do need to have a Huawei phone. Now also in the bottom right, it has a PC manager sidebar with messages. You can have documents, you can have your clipboard sync as well. Now you have a selection, start recording, calculator, notepad, or phone. So overall, that's everything I wanna talk about for the 2019 MateBook X Pro. If you do press function, it will actually just turn on an LED light where you can start using the function keys or not if you wanna use just some of these shortcuts. Just another little quick tidbit. Now overall, hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is just my unboxing, a lot more to come. Like I said, about to go to Paris, gonna take this with me, do some video editing, and a lot more on it. We'll need to transfer all my files, all that good stuff. So a lot more to come, so be sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, it is a touch screen, so let's go ahead and actually open up a video that's preloaded on this laptop. Go ahead and get it running. And there we go. So we go ahead and watch this on our way out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.